This is uh, Richard Brown. I'm an associate professor of business strategy at Penn State Harrisburg, and I'm going to do a quick discussion about, about the breakdown uh, of products and why inflation has become such a problem. And I think um, I'm going to go over this article and, and also I've jotted down some notes. Um, this is from uh, I'm recording this May 23rd, 2022. This article is from today, May 23rd. And oh, what I like about it, the reason I'm, I'm analyzing it is for uh, my students and, and business strategy classes, we talk a lot in the beginning of the semester about uh, idiosyncratic and systematic shocks. And so clearly we're, we're dealing with a, an era of shocks and inflation is something that we have to deal with both personally as individuals, as consumers, as well as future managers. And so this article breaks down a simple product, a bag of potato chips. And I like to uh, give simple examples for simple products so that we can understand things and then imagine uh, what it would be for a complex product, how much more difficult this problem would be for you know, a very complex high tech product. So articles about uh, starts off with Tom Locke's British snack company, he sells 40 gram bag of potato chips to hotels, cafes, restaurants. His price is up about 20%. His wholesale price is up about 20% this year to those, uh, to those entities. And then why? So there's a great breakdown here about why that is. Um, and there are three main components, three main supplies in the supply chain for potatoes, uh, potato chips. And one is potatoes. And those potatoes are now 20% more expensive. Uh, the other one is cooking oil, and those costs have tripled. So even though cooking oil will not be as big of a percentage of the ingredients that go into a bag of potato chips, the 300% increase is, uh, is immense. And then you have packaging and cardboard and things like that. And it says it's up about 20%, about a fifth. And it goes through why, and there are certainly just regular kind of supply chain issues that we're going through right now with shortages in many things that could, say, could explain why, but the war in Ukraine has really exacerbated uh, this issue. Um, and that's because it's increased energy prices as well as uh, agricultural commodity prices. So um, the second column, because Ukraine is such an important part of the global food supply chain, the war is sending prices of commodities to historic highs. Russia and Ukraine account for about 30 to 40% of the world's wheat, which in this, that may not be relevant for, for this article, but it is relevant for many other food staples. And uh, even more so, it accounts for about 50% of sunflower oil. And sunflower oil is probably not something that we've heard of too much in years past, but I've at least been reading about it a lot lately. And that is because it is the preferred cooking oil for industrial manufacturers of food products. So the breakdown is in any bag of chips, potatoes make up 60 to 70% of the overall cost. Cooking oil is another 20, 25%. And then the remaining is flavoring, cooking, and packaging. Um, so I have uh, drawn out here a very simple. Uh, so you have your bag of chips. Uh, you have your percentages. I have 60, 20, 20 for the percentage of costs for those three buckets. And then to the right of that, the increase in price uh, for for those uh, for those things again, oil is three times less important as a as a percentage in a bag of chips, but it's fifteen times uh, higher in terms of the increase in price as potatoes. So that's really going to be the driver of the increased cost for potato chips. And then twenty percent, which seems low to me, but plus twenty percent for packaging and transport. And again, why is this? Well, Ukraine prices have a double effect. There are gas prices, okay, and those gas prices because of issues with, with the war and, and Russia not uh, either not um, exporting or not being able to export because of sanctions. Uh, those gas prices lead to two indirect costs. One is fertilizer. Fertilizer is needed to you know, make the ingredients that go into the ingredients of a bag of potato chips. And then also gas prices uh, are, are a big um, uh, input for electricity prices. And the article will go on to say that when you, when you cut the potatoes down, when you, I'm sorry, when you, when you take them out of the ground, when you cut them to make potato chips, when you do all these things, but you haven't actually cooked the potato chips yet, you have to store the potatoes. And that takes an immense amount of electricity and so storage costs for, uh, for potatoes uh, has gone up a lot. I think what I want you uh, students to think about is 
for every simple thing that you consume or buy or whatever it is that the supply chain for that for whatever that is is uh, multifaceted and complex so even for something as simple as a potato chip um, it is it is there's more than just you know potatoes and oil there are the you know all of these other things like storage and fertilizer and electricity and all all of this so it's it's a it's a problem uh, the problem will most likely not go away anytime soon uh, a couple more things in the article I found this interesting and that is um, down here normally we would think when I teach uh, market entry uh, and and price increases, what you would normally say is that as prices increase, uh, incumbent firms produce more of the thing that they're going to get more money for, and new entrants come into the market because they see these incredible incredible prices, and they say, I you know I want to sell that thing too, but. The problem is, is that uh, the 20% price increase, as, as the author says, may not fully cover the increase in a grower's production cost. So this is not the case. Normally, we would see high prices lead to lower prices because more entrants would come in. And as those entrants came in or as incumbents increased production, you would have more of a supply and therefore prices would, would equilibrate. But we're not going to see that in, in the sense that the, uh, the increase in expenses is greater than the increase in um, in uh, in revenue. I have it down here. What about next year? Uh, the first derivative of revenue is less than the first derivative of expenses, and so therefore you're most likely not going to see a reprieve in terms of prices, at least for potato chips. And I'm sure that's the same answer uh, for for other things as well. Okay. And one more thing. Yeah, Ukraine is the world's biggest producer of sunflower oil. Uh, and then the one person is quoted as saying, uh, sunflower oil used to buy for 500 uh, pounds, British pounds, that's $624 a ton. He now pays 2,000 pounds, so a fourfold increase. And he's gone to an alternative, which is rapeseed oil, which is uh, apparently, in, I don't know much about oils, but apparently is inferior, but good enough. Um, and then another soaring cost, the price of corrugated boxes used to pack chips is up by 25%. So the amount of components that are in something simple like a potato chip bag, uh, it doesn't matter if it's a simple product. The ch supply chain and distribution chain is complex, and it will, it will lead for, uh, to uh, costs to the consumers as well as to companies like hotels, et cetera, uh, for, for quite a bit of time to come. Thank you.